The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, welcome to the Genius Kids show. And now that grade sevens are done writing their exams, here at the Genius Kids, we're keeping our ears on the ground, waiting for those who are going to ace these exams so that we can feature them on this show. Could that be you? I don't know, who knows, hey? Before we get into this episode, rem remember that the Genius Kids profiles the best of the best in academics, sports, arts and crafts, robotics, you name it. My name is Aisha and I am your host. And today I am with Jaden Mushidziwa, who's into robotics, photography, and journalism. Hello, Jaden. Welcome to the Genius Kids. Uh, hi, thank you for having me here. It is a pleasure. How are you today? I'm fine, excited. Uh, You're excited to be on mm, the show. Yes. Right. So how old are you? I am 12 years old. Oh, so you just wrote your grade Yes. Well. Right. How were the exams? The exams were they're okay. They were not so hard. Okay. Uh, mm. And what are you doing during your holiday? Uh, I'm focusing on uh, developing my skills, my talents. Yes. Okay. So you're not resting. It's not a holiday yeah, for you. Yeah, it's, it's not a holiday for me. Okay. So how many are you in your family? Uh, we are five in our family. Uh, my parents and two older brothers. And you are... What position? Um, the last one. You're the last one, so you're everyone's favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is your family doing to support you in your photography, journalism, and robotics? Uh, my family is uh, encouraging me more, uh, buying me right equipment uh, for the things that I want to do to pursue my dreams. All right. And which school were you at when you were writing your... Uh, I was at uh, Abyss Primary School. Abyss Primary School. Where is yes. this? Uh, it's in Grindo. All right. And who was your favorite teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher, I actually have two. Okay. Uh, the first one was my grade one teacher, uh, Ms. Chibanguza. All right. Why? Why did you um, like Ms. Chibanguza? She was nice and fun. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And your second favorite teacher? My second favorite teacher was uh, C. Reggie, C. Uh, our ICT teacher. Uh, okay, I know why he's your favorite. Because yes. you like robotics. Yes. <laughs> okay, and what was your favorite subject? I think I know the answer to this one as well. Uh, this, actually, it was mathematics. Ah, so you're a genius in maths. Yes. Mm, interesting. I was never good at maths, so I can never <laughs> relate. When people say I like maths, I don't even understand why. Because maths was so hard. Yes, I like the challenging questions because it helps me to stretch my mind. Like when I figure out like the question, I'm able to teach other people. I like to be a leader in mm, general. You like to be a leader. Yes. All right, so you enjoyed those number stories. Oh yes. The <laughs> difficult math they used to <laughs> yes. do in primary school where they give you words and they yeah, yeah, yeah. come up with the mathematics. Okay, so I'm told one of your hobbies is reading books. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is the Wimpy Kid series. Yeah. Ah, there is a mm, Wimpy Kid. Yes. Why do you like th love the Wimpy Kid? Uh, I like the Wimpy Kid because it's like showcasing my life in general. Uh, like. So you're the Wimpy Kid. Y yes, I'm like <laughs> the Wimpy Kid. Yeah. Okay. So, do you prefer fiction or non-fiction books? I prefer fictional books. Yeah, they. I think they're more fun and uh, they help us. Like, I I like writing articles as a journalist, right? Mm. So it helps me to know more creative words, vocabulary in general. All right. And do you have a favorite author? E yes. Who is your favorite author? Uh, my favorite author is uh, Jean Kenny, uh, the author of The Wimpy Kid. The author of The Wimpy Kid. So which book are you going to be reading next? Or oh, actually, what book are you reading right now? Uh, I'm, I'm still reading The Wimpy Kid. Uh, yeah, I'm reading the movie. And have you ever thought about writing your own book? Yes, 
Yes, just so I went into journalism. I like writing books, stories. So you're actually writing right now? Yes. Do you want to tell us a bit about the storyline? Uh, I wrote, uh, usually as a journalist at the school, right? I focus on writing what's happening in the school, right. uh, sports in general, yes. Right. So you're also into photography. What inspired you to start taking photos? Uh, my father did. Uh, he's a really good photographer and journalist. Okay. And do you use your phone? Do you use a camera? What kind of equipment do you use when you're taking your photos? I use my camera. Uh, it's like when you're not engaging into that type of uh, in photography, right? You need proper equipment. Mm. So usually people be like, I'm taking selfie with the phone, right? But now when you're going into this uh, camera... Yes. So do you actually do photography editing that Yes, uh, uh I do photography. Uh yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um what inspired you to start taking pictures? Uh my father, as I said, he, he he gave me he ignited the light. Yeah. Right. Do you have a favorite subject to photograph? Yes, what, I do. What do you like to photograph? I like nature. Like, like nature. when birds are flying, that perfect moment that you can just capture. So would you at one point maybe become a wildlife photographer or a landscape photographer? Yes. Right. So how do you come up with ideas for your photography? Like how do you decide, today I'm going to take a picture of the mountains or the birds. How do you decide that? Uh, I just see what what am I feeling? What, what is the... Is the is it that a bird? Are they fools? You see, yeah. All right. So what's the favorite photo that you have taken so far and what makes it special to you? My favorite photo uh, was in Chinoy Caves, yeah. Mm. Uh, it was because I had family, friends surrounding me. So it was much more better to, yeah. All right. And what do you enjoy the most about photography? Uh, I enjoy most about photography that uh, it helps me to express myself. Um, uh, I'm very happy when I take uh, the right photo at the right time. Okay, and which photographers or artists inspire you? Uh, I don't think, yeah, as I said last time, my, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> so your dad is your, what's your dad's name? Uh, my dad's name is Eugene Mushizu. So we're going to look up Eugene Mshidziwa and see his pictures. Do you edit your own photos? And if so, how do you edit your photos and what tools do you use? I actually don't edit my own photos. Uh, I have uh, my team. Uh, you have a team? Yes. Okay, a team of how many? Uh, we are about, let's just say, 10. Yeah. There's 10 of you. Yes. All right. So if I want to have pictures of my wedding taken, I mm. can call you guys. Yes. All right, nice. Have you ever participated in any photography contests or exhibitions? Uh, no, not yet, but uh, in the future, I would really want to regional, local competitions. I would really want to. Okay, interesting. And what tips would you give to someone who's just starting out in photography? Uh, I would say that um, just need to calm down. Um, Wait for that moment, that moment to capture that perfect photo, yeah. yeah right. And how do you feel when you capture the perfect moment? I, I, I feel elated. I'm very happy. All right. Uh, to those just joining us, I am with Jaden Mushidziwa. He is a 12-year-old who's into photography, journalism, and robotics and right now we're just talking about his photography and what he's doing during this holiday that he's on until he starts his new journey next year as a form one so what do you hope to achieve with your photography in the future i hope to that i'm able to capture like um let's just say the the first family uh, of the yeah the president and his family mm. Then I would also want to capture uh, a photo of uh, Elon Musk. Why uh, Elon Musk? He, it's because he he he's talented. Uh, he creates robots, which I also want. Yeah. 
All right. And yeah. you also they had you were the head of journalism at your uh-huh. school. You were the leader of the journalism yes. club. What was your work as the leader of the journalism club? Uh they had uh it's to maintain order. Um and also as they had it doesn't mean that you're always on top of everyone. Mm-hmm. You learn some things was me I'm also learning from my colleagues, uh how to edit the yeah, we all have different skills, talents. All right. And what at what age did you join the journalism club? Uh I joined uh, when I was ten, ten years. That was grade five. Yes. And that's when did you write your first article? What was your first article about? Uh my first article about was about um the school swimming gala. The school swimming gala. Okay, mm. so you did, you were a sports correspondent. Yes. So how were you balancing photography, club responsibilities, robotics, schoolwork, you had exams, you had colors, how yes, were you yes. balancing all that? Uh, in general, I used to really focus on my school, yes, because school is the basic so that you can end up having these branches of robotics, photography. School is the main part, you see. Mm. Yes. Okay. And what challenges have you faced as the head of the journalism club and how did you overcome them? Uh first of all we did not really have uh proper equipment mm. uh to support us to do photography and uh, editing. So thankfully our school uh bought laptops yes for editing and so on etc. And what topics or issues are you most passionate about covering when you do your journalism and your writing? Uh, sports. Sports. Yes, because I like how, let's just say a team has won, right? Yes. And you capture that moment, people celebrating. In, yeah. All right. Yes. So speaking of sports, you seem to love sports. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is uh, cricket. Do you play cricket? Yes. Batsman, bowler. I am the wicket keeper. You're the wicket keeper. Yes. Okay, so you got the uh, wicket. Yes. All right. How do you think photography can impact the way we see the world? Uh, people usually see the world as, you know, they'll be looking at the best stuff, what's happening. But when you, when you take that photo of birds flying, the trees, yes. That's when people appreciate what God has created. Give us. Yeah, it is wonderful to appreciate yes. nature. And what techniques or equipment do you find most useful in your photography? Uh, I would say proper lighting uh, and a camera. All right. And what future plans do you have for your journalism? Is this something that you're willing to pursue full time or is this something that you're going to keep doing? What, what way do you want your journalism to lead you to? Uh, I would, I wouldn't say full time because I really want to focus on other things. But yeah, it's to be a hobby for me. Like others have hobbies of fishing, swimming. But I would say yeah. yeah. All right. And what advice would you give to someone who's just starting out and maybe journalism or even photography? Uh, on photography, I would say that you need to get proper equipment. Mm-hmm. Start off with. A camera, that's fine. Just a camera. And start upgrading. And then upgrade. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for that advice. We are talking to Jaden Mushidziwa. He's a 12-year-old who's a genius in multiple disciplines. He does photography. He does journalism. And he also does robotics here on the Genius Kids. And now we're going to talk about the robotics part of his career, his blossoming, growing career. So you are into robotics. But then I would want to know, what is robotics? In your own definition, what is robotics? Mostly to me, robotics is all about problem solving. All about problem you solving. You see, in robotics, we enhance technology. We try our best. Uh, what's wrong in the environment? Uh, okay, uh, people are disabled. They can't really see. What can we do? What can we do? Okay, solution. So problem solving, then solution. Sounds like you're an innovator. So what got you interested in robotics in the first place? 
Uh, I would just say when I was very young, uh, I used to remove lights from my toy cars. Oh. Then uh, I started lighting them up. Yeah, then I'm very happy showing so everyone. So your mom would buy you toys and then you would yes. open them? Yes. Was she happy about that? Uh, sh- not so much, <laughs> but she was. She she supported me, yeah. All right. Yeah. And do you have a favorite robot or robotics project that you've worked on? Uh, yes, I do. It Make was the smart greenhouse. The smart green. Tell us about the smart greenhouse. Uh the smart greenhouse. Uh, it it helped farmers. Like we see that people are adding too much fertilizer uh, or uh, less water for the plants to grow. Right. Mm-hmm. So then this smart uh, greenhouse will add the right amount of water, fertilizer, name it, it is it. Right, so it was all controlled in yes. one place to make sure everything is in the right quantities. Yes. Right, I understand. And what do you enjoy most about building or programming robotics? Uh, I really like programming because it's something that helps me to think, um, to stretch my mind. Because programming, it's, it's, you need to do the right thing, right, so that it will work. So I love how it challenges me. You see. All right. So yes. you love challenges. Yes. And you love to solve problems. Mm. You are one of the finalists in the 2022 and 2023 Africa Science Baskets. What was that like? Uh, it was a joyous place. Uh, in the 2022 African Science Baskets, uh, we did a smart house. Yes. The smart house. Yeah, that's smart clean house, yes. All right. And then in 2023, what did you do? In 2023, we did a solar tracker. We did a solar. What is a solar tracker? A solar tracker is, a, is a, um, let's just say they're solar panels, right? Yeah. Usually people just spread so many solar panels on their roof, right? Mm-hmm. So as the sun moves uh, east to the west, right? Yeah. So people are using a lot of money to buy so many solar panels for the entire roof. Instead of that, that solar tracker rotates where the sun is. Ah, I understand what you're saying. So instead of just placing my solar panel in one place, I have a solar tracker that rather positions itself at a position that where it can get the most energy. Yes, it obtains all the energy. So when you were at the Africa Science Baskets, were you working as a team or as an individual? I was working as a team. We were working as a team. A team of how many? Uh, Three. All right, interesting. And what's the most challenging project you've taken on? Uh, The most challenging project I've taken on was the Smart House. The smart smart house. house. Yes. All right. The smart greenhouse. Uh, why, was it so, why was it so challenging? The smart house. It bo- it was challenging because we had to program so many components. Yes. All right. Yes. And this was when? This twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Yes. All right. Nice. Uh, are there any specific skills that you want to learn or improve regarding robotics? Yes, I would really want to improve my uh, programming skills. Yes, yes. All right, speaking of programming, which programming languages do you use? I use Arduino Uno. Uh, for beginners, I would advise to start with uh, Scratch, then Scratch. going up. Yes. All right, so Scratch is the easy one. Yes. And then when I get advanced, I get to Uno Uno. Arduino Uno, going to Python. Python, mm. all right. Interesting. What of JavaScript? Yeah, JavaScript. Yes, yes, okay. yes. C++. Mm, interesting. So who's your favorite inventor, engineer? Uh, Elon Musk. Why Elon Musk? <laughs> it's because he's one of the richest men in the world. Uh, he's innovative. Mm. He sees like the world people are using cars which uh, pollute the air, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. He makes something which is eco-friendly, which which we really need that. All right. So if you could design a robot to do anything, anything, what would it be? Uh, it would be... Uh, mm, yeah, smart security. 
smart security why smart security because i've seen that the world is going to a place yeah where it is becoming very dangerous mm -hmm. without security so i'm seeing that smart security can actually help the world so are you working on a project to do with smart security right now yes what are you working on i'm working on a smart security uh which helps banks right? Right. yes so what happens with the smart security system is that when a person enters a bank right it scans them through uh then when it will say that if you have any objects can you please leave them in a box right mm -hmm. then when you go to the next uh, cube uh it will scan you again then if you still have any weapon uh it will call security and it will lock then to start like to start eating inside oh. yeah <laughs> yes so that you give it up yes okay um so what tools or materials do you use when you're building your robots and your robotic systems uh ultrasonic sensor uh, ultrasonic sensor what yes. does an ultrasonic sensor do an ultrasonic sensor is a uh, is a sensor right, that senses objects and avoids them okay mm. all right and how do you think robotics will change the world in the next few years i think robotics will make the world a better safer a confident place interesting yes. so as we wrap it up uh, what advice do you give to our viewers out there to other kids like you out there who maybe got interested in robotics as we were talking they're like i want to be like Jaden. i want to do robotics what advice would you give to them i'll say that go for it and yeah your future will be bright yeah go for it and your future will be bright you heard it from the man himself Jaden. So as we finish up, one last question. When you're not doing robotics, you're not doing photography, you're not doing journalism, what do you, what else do you like to do? Music. You like music? Music, yes. So you can sing? Uh, yes, uh, I do like want to me singing, uh, playing drums, uh, singing. Um, uh, not today. Not today? Yes. Okay, but then later, maybe when you're off the uh, coverage, okay. you can sing for me. Okay, it's fine. Uh, what's your favorite song right now? Um, which song? Um, uh, any uh, song. What's your favorite song right now? Fill me up. Uh, yeah. by Tasha Cobbs. Fill yes. me up. Yes. Oh, okay, I know that one. It's a nice, it's a good song. Yes. So, Jaden, thank you so much for coming to the Genius Kids. I loved chatting with you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have heard the chance to talk to an inspiring young man. His name is Jaden Mujidziwa. He's only 12 years old, but he is a genius in various disciplines. He's doing photography, he's doing journalism, and he's doing robotics, and he also loves music. It's incredible to see how his creativity and curiosity are shaping the future. We can't, to see, we can't wait to see where's, where his interests take him. Next year, he's going to be getting into a new adventure. He's going to be starting Form 1. Until next time, Keep exploring and dreaming big. My name is Aisha Nyanzunda. the little things that make us giants in our industry. 
we put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.